Okay, how you doing folks? Um, I'm restoring a, one of these <clears throat> cassette decks that I happen to like a lot. It's made by Duel, which is a German brand. This is the model C830 and it has, has three heads. Um, one that records, one that uh, erases, and one that plays back. And you can see here it's made by Send Dust is the, the brand of the heads. And this is kind of a peek in here. Let's see if we can get it. This camera is new to me, so I'm a little bit disoriented with it. So bear with me, but let's see if I can get a close up here. I'll have to turn the light on. Pretty close. There we go. So I have it standing up. I'm actually taking out the uh, electrolytics in this and checking them uh, to see if they're any good or not. There's not very many of them in this. This is just a cassette deck. And um, I have a device over here that has the ability to do this. And some some of these, um, the lo those lower voltage ones we can't, but I hooked one up here. This is the uh, 35 volts, 1000 farad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and test that. And make sure you have these connected properly because this polarity, you can see this side has the minus side, so that's the black wire. And it comes up here. The red is in the middle. I haven't turned this on yet, so what you normally do is set everything up. And this is an electrolytic. Uh, so you can see on the power factor here, it has, turn this light back off. Yeah, yeah so it has uh, paper mica is what it's set on now. So we just need to turn this on. It needs a little bit more power to get uh, a good reading on these kind of trick capacitors. So it's going to take a minute to warm up. We're going to set also the selector up here to 50 to 1,000 is the maximum. So it's going to be interesting to see how this thing performs or how this old 45 year old capacitor, if that's how old it really is. I don't know if it's ever been replaced. I'll look at the brand and look it up in a little bit. Okay, CI so yeah, is what warmed up. So we'll turn this. It's going to have to turn it probably almost all the way. And as you can see, it's opening. And I'll get it at 1,000 right there. Is that when it gets the biggest? It's right there. So it does work. Uh, maybe not. Let's see if, the, if it has leakage. So this also tests for leakage. So we're going to switch this to, to the leakage setting. We're set it at 25 volts. This is only a uh, 35 volt capacitor, so this should be the only one that we'll be able to use. Or we don't want to go any higher. We don't want to set 150 volts through that capacitor that's only designed to handle as much as uh, 35 volts. So we're just going to go, I think when you turn this, I've measured the voltage. It goes up actually to 40 volts. It says 25, but it actually, actually goes to 40. So it should be a good test. So let's see the eye and see what happens here. It should be a normal good capacitor. It should close and then open all the way really quick. So let's see what happens. Uh, I just have to turn this one. Oh, it's having a hard time opening. Very slow. So that's really leaky. Um, it's leaky. It's time to go. It should open up all the way back up really quick and it's taking forever. So I mean, yeah, it still works, but for a good audio sound, you want to have good electrolytics, so I'm going to have to replace that one. Let me check the other ones. Okay, so anyway, this is the capacitors that 
are in this and they say Nippon so this is made in Japan and um, I have my other my other deck here it says made in Germany so it'd be interesting I'm gonna take a, a peek at this one and just to see what kind of capacitors in that I, those are the original capacitors I haven't changed it either but these are definitely leaky so I'm gonna go ahead and restore this since everything is working fine now except for the uh, one of the Dolby boards uh, right channel the uh, IC and the Dolby IC it's the uh, number uh, LM1011N yeah so I found one of these like he says it's from dual it's in Germany so I'm gonna get the original uh, IC and that'll fix the problem that this had basically what happened is you turn it on and play the music the right channel's fine left channel has a very high frequency like a thousand thousand Hertz uh, squeal really bad and I, I how I found out is that as I squirted it with some uh, canned air upside down freeze it and the noise went away so as soon as it started to warm up it was howling howling like a whale so anyway I'm gonna have to order I have that coming in um, I replaced these already with some some new ones so I've got about two of these so I'm gonna have replace the other one just to make sure because you have left and right the other one went is still fine but it probably will go bad soon if, if this one failed so we never know what made it go bad it's, to get one of these now they're about forty dollars but I found one for fifteen and it's used but the guy says it's good so I'm going for it so anyway check back to you guys as soon as uh I have all the capacitors in and I've already uh, cleaned um, all of the switches and all of the uh, potentiometers on it so that's all done. Uh, last thing I usually do is demagnetize the head and, and uh, give it a good cleaning. So anyway, it's close up here on the head. It's like now before I've done anything. It's hard to see, you know, so you look at things, it's like a mirror, so it really looks, turn the angle here, the light, the better angle here. Actually, let's turn the light on and see what happens. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's zoom in. Still looks like a mirror. Yeah, it's going to sound really good, you guys. If nobody's messed with the azimuth. Uh, let's see if we can see. Yeah, pull back here. There we go. So, let's see if the, uh, the glue on the screws, if they look like they've been messed with. in on those. That's a good shot there. Okay. And the other one is here. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Let's see it. Okay, so let's t test this other one. It's uh, a little bit smaller, but we'll give it a try here.
Okay, so pull right out. Let me hit that with the iron and then one more time. 